many, many valuables lying around in the plain sight, and none of it was taken. Um, furthermore, a forensic analysis of the blood splatter around the house revealed patterns that were inconsistent with Dali's version of events. The pattern of blood drops in the kitchen seemed to um, come from someone who had been standing still and not running after an attacker like um, Dolly had claimed she had done. Next, blood splatter on the back shoulder of Dolly's night shirt was consistent with the idea that she was the one who had done the stabbing um, and the puncture wounds on the shirt didn't match any wounds on her body, which suggested that the shirt was perhaps purposely stabbed by her to help serve as evidence for her cover-up story. Um, in addition, forensic analysis 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 I have found evidence of large amounts of Dali's blood in and around the kitchen sink, suggesting that she had stood at the sink to cut her own throat and arm, um, which is usually what someone who purposely cut themselves in order to have wounds to show to the uh, authorities as a cover might do. Finally, forensic experts found evidence of fiberglass rods on a bread knife in the kitchen that matched the fiberglass rods of a window screen that had been cut in the carriage. Um, authorities had thought that the cut screen was the supposed uh, intruder's entry point into the house, but why would an, an intruder put the knife back? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Um, so it seemed as though the attacker had been inside the house the entire time, and because uh, the husband, Darren, was with infant Drake the whole time, suspicion of course quickly fell on Dolly Rudeer. For one thing though, um, Dolly Rudeer and every person, every known person in the house that night have been excluded as the source of a bloody fingerprint found on a coffee table, and Rudeer was excluded as the source of another bloody print on the door to the utility room, um, suggesting evidence of an intruder. So I'm trying to get both sides um, in to not make it as biased as possible. Um, so yeah. Anyway, soon the initial 911 call began to seem uh, suspicious, as well, suspicious as well. Officers testified that Dolly Rudeer seemed eerily calm and alert during the call and that she failed to follow instructions um, about applying pressure to Damon's wound. However, advocates for her innocence point to the fact that she was still audibly screaming on the call and that she may have not followed instructions because she was simply in shock. And I understand that many people deal with grief and things like this in many different ways, but it just doesn't look very good, does it? Um, but perhaps even more suspicious was the fact that Dolly at one point on call told the dispatcher that she had touched the knife and said, I wonder if we could have gotten the prints, maybe. So at trial, Officer David Waddle said, I thought if she was worried about fingerprints on a knife, she could certainly take care of her kids. Um, so after the call had ended, the 911 call had ended, and rescue workers arrived, it seemed incriminating that Dolly didn't follow paramedics as they took Damon away or even asked where they were taking him. Um, later, hospital nurses said that her behavior upon Damon's death just wasn't what you'd expect from a mother who just lost two children. In addition, her 
story about the intruder didn't seem to make much sense. Um, the window in the garage where the intruder allegedly gained access just wasn't disturbed in a way that it would have been if someone had come from outside and the utility room where the murder weapon was supposedly dropped just didn't have blood splatter consistent with it being dropped there. But probably the most damning evidence against Dali was made by Dali herself. Um, she had invited local news crews to film her and her family and friends celebrating what would have been De uh, Devon's seventh birthday. At the grave site, eight days after the deaths, um, cameras then captured Dolly and her company chewing gum, laughing, singing, and spraying silly string over the graves. And prosecutor Greg Davis saw the video and seized upon it as proof that she showed no grief over the death of her sons. Um, her upbeat behavior seemed very unusual for a woman who had just lost her sons a mere week ago. So, four days after the video was released, Dali Rudia was arrested and charged with premeditated murder. Um, during the trial, the prosecution relied heavily on the video from the graveside birthday ceremony. Um, they claimed that she was a shallow and materialistic woman with no remorse. They also said that she wanted her sons gone because they were too much responsibility and got in the way of her desired lifestyle. Um, I don't know if they made that up, or not, not made it up, but just saw her and thought of it. I don't know if they have proof like that, if that makes sense, but I don't know. So at trial, the prosecution presented a timeline showing that Dolly stabbed Devon and Damon before staging the scene by breaking a wine glass, cutting the screen in the garage, planting a bloody sock down an alley 75 yards away, and finally stabbing herself in the arms and throat. Um, in addition, the state based, based its case on presenting as evidence details that went to the kind of mother Dolly was um, prosecutor Toby Shook played a the 50 second clip of her sp happily spraying silly string on a Devon's grave and told the jurors the scene gives you a lot of insight into this woman. You see, this is not a picture of a grieving mother. The state also called witnesses to highlight that Rudy had breast implants, did not take her children to church often, went out with girlfriends the night before Mother's Day, and wore jewelry, jewelry, which I, in my opinion, I don't agree with, um, because doing any of those things does not make you a bad, uh, parent, I, so I don't actually know what they were trying to get at with that, um, I don't know if I missed the point in that, or I've looked far too deeply into it, but I, I just feel like that has no relevance, because it does not make you a bad burn by getting, or doing any of those things. Anyway, through defense attorney Doug Mulder, um, presented medical and psychiatric experts who said they believed she was telling the truth about the intruder and that her wounds did not appear to be self-inflicted. Um, he presented no forensic testimony to rebut the state's staging theory, uh, citing the lack of, of defense forensic evidence. Assistant District Attorney Greg Davis told the jurors in closing argument, it speaks volumes to you, sometimes what you don't see or hear. So the defense team countered that Dolly Rudy had no motive to murder her own children. The prosecution said her motive was that she was no longer the glamorous blonde center of attention and was angry at her kids. Furthermore, the defense said that the wound on her neck was only two inches away from her carotid artery, um, which was not considered. 
consistent with a self-inflicted injury. Dolly's supporters, who pointed out that the Silly String video had been edited to make her appear artless, she had actually held a somber ceremony honoring the two boys before the more jo jovial, jovial birthday party. However, the news crews never showed that part. Dolly Rudeer's mother, Dolly Key, later told the Dallas Morning News they ended up deliberating on the silly string. Silly string is not a lethal weapon. End quote. As Dolly Rudeer herself later said about the video, he wanted to be seven. I did the only thing I knew to do, knew to do, to honor him and gave him all his wishes because he wasn't here anymore. But how do you know what you're going to do when you lose two, two children? How do you know how you're going to act? End quote. So, given the so, given the pathologist's estimate that Damon could have survived his wounds for only nine minutes, the 911 call lasted six minutes, and that police arrived within a minute after the end of the call. That left barely over two minutes for Dolly to step her son's head for the garage, step through the slit in the window screen, jump a back fence or go through the go through a back gate run barefoot for 75 miles down 75 yards down an alley drop a bloody sock run 75 yards back stab herself clean up the blood around the sink and stage whatever crime scene there was to be left to be staged and as uh Texas monthly put it there were there also were questions about the state's contention that Rude had stabbed her children, then herself, um, as the blood stains on the back of her nightshirt, uh, like I mentioned before, um, that prosecution witnesses suggested that had been caused by knife splatter as she performed an overhead stabbing of her sons, yet the droplets contained her blood, um, as well as her sons, left unexplained was how her blood was on the knife as she stabbed her sons, if the state's timeline was correct. Um, Rudeer originally was re represented by a court-appointed team that hired two forensic scientists to review the evidence from the crime scene. Um, but before the trial began, Dali replaced the team with Mulder, who I said about earlier, um, or said his name earlier. Um, but he was a prominent local defense attorney who had represented her husband and mother-in-law in a gag order hearing related to the trial. Mulder did not present the forensic findings or that a man matching the attacker's description was seen 10 minutes from the Rue home at 2am, after 2am, the night of the murders. Nor did he raise the issue that Darren, not Darreen, had committed the murders. A strategy, her uh, original uh, lawyers later said they had a plan to pursue. So, Texas Monthly reported post-trial that Darren admitted he had been um, considering an insurance scam shortly before the murders. Darren had asked Dolly's stepfather if he knew anyone who could break into the house and fake a burglary and said it was a possibility. Um, he brought it up with the others as well. However, a private investigator working on Rudeer's appeal found no evidence he had taken the scam any further. So, ultimately, after the prosecution and defense battled it out, Dolly Rudeer was found guilty of first-degree murder of Damon on February 4th, 1997.
1907 and was sent to death row after the Texas State Courts affirmed the conviction on a direct appeal because there were many appeals, I think, before this. Um, it, I didn't write it down, but I'm pretty sure there were many appeals and they all, like, didn't go through or something. Um, but the conviction on direct appeal, the courts granted in 2008 on a limited basis re renewed DNA testing touching of a process that has not yet been completed as of summer um, this year, 2019. So when the testing is complete, the Dallas County District Attorney's Office plans to review the findings, after which Ruta's petition to overturn the verdict, which was the first filed in 2005, will finally move forward. Um, whether or not she is innocent guilt or guilty, um, Dolly is currently being held at the Mountain View Unit Prison in Gatesville, Texas, awaiting execution. But to this day, Dolly Rude maintains that she is innocent. As she said from prison just after her son's death, I did not kill my children. That's ridiculous. All of a sudden, I woke up, stabbed my kids, tried to slip my head off. Come on. Um, anyway, so, so yeah, that is actually all the information I have on this case. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know your guys' opinions and what you think if she did it or didn't and why. Um, I personally think, in my opinion, I think she did do it just because it doesn't make sense. Um, unless it was a serial killer, why would a random person, guy, um, because she said it was a male, um, why would a random guy choose her house to stab her two young children and attempt to slit her throat but not actually do it, like, and then I don't know if I'm wrong, I don't know if anyone actually wakes up when they're not, when, I don't know if no one wakes up when they're being stabbed, but how didn't she feel herself being, like, cut, like, I, I don't get it, um, so I think she did do it. But I would love to hear your, um, opinions. Um, so yeah, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and, um, subscribe if you want to see more videos because from me, because I'm really close from, to 900 subscribers and I appreciate you guys a lot. If you do have a case you'd like me to cover, then comment it below with a brief description and I'll check it out. Um, yeah, I will see you guys.